Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Hope you are well. So you guessed it by the title today, I am talking about Anina Bing. Now this is a brand that I, again, as always, I'm super late to the party with. I did not realize that this brand has been going for, I believe, 10 years. Now, if you haven't heard of Anina Bing, then where have you been under a rock with me? Clearly, get comfy, sit down, because I'm just gonna chat to you about the two amazing sweaters that I picked up recently. So guys, I hope you are set comfy. Time to quickly whiz through these incredible sweaters. So this brand, I actually first discovered them because firstly, my friend told me that they have one on the Kings Road in Chelsea. I was like, excuse me. And then my friends in San Fran were obsessed with it. And I was like, what? You'll see on my San Fran vlog, we were walking around the store and I was like, guys, I'm obsessed with this brand. And it's one of those brands that once you discover it, I'm seeing the brand everywhere now. I saw the brand in New York, literally everywhere I looked, they were like advertising billboards. And I was like, ah, but also it made me feel like really positive that it's taken me 10 years to learn about this incredible brand. So. I don't know, like this incredible brand has obviously been built over so many years and I just love it because it's a female run business. So Anina Bing, I believe, started out as an influencer, which I think is so, so, so cool. And now she just has this insane global brand. So my friends in San Fran were obsessed with it and now I'm obsessed with it. They're just easy to wear items. Now the first two pieces in my collection are the sweaters. One is a sports sweater and one is just kind of the regular sweater. I will link these below because I'm not sure of the exact names. I believe this is Sport Tyler and I need to Google this one, but I will link them below as always. But I wanted to talk to you about sizing, styling, and generally why I am loving these sweaters because you've probably seen them everywhere. They also do really cool sports totes, which I'm really into. I would say it's kind of like a Scandinavian meets American brand. And that's actually what they say. They're kind of like Scandinavian design, timeless staples, easy to wear with that kind of American influence, which kind of makes sense because I believe she's Scandinavian and it's sold all over America and now London. So this is the first sweater that I got and I actually went into a store to buy this, but I will link the exact one below. I feel like it's dirty because I've been wearing it so much, but it definitely just got out of the wash. Um, so far, so good. I wore this on literally my entire trip to the US and I just loved it. Or it's skiing, or it's Tahoe, or it's the airport. Like it's far too nice to wear on a plane, but I love it. It gives that kind of like looks feel. It's so much more than just a plain sweater. It is a designer sweater. They are very expensive. I guess it's because it's by a designer. I'm gonna look and see if I can tell you what this is made out of, but I really don't think, okay, it's 100% organic cotton. So it's not like it's made from gold, <laughs> let's be honest. It is just, you are kind of buying a brand name. I'm sure it is beautifully made. Um, I love how it's stitched on the logo, but I'm not gonna lie, I did buy it because everyone's wearing it. It's cool to wear, but it is essentially quite an expensive sweatshirt. So you'll see how I'm styling it. The way I've personally been wearing it is either with a little skirt or with leggings or with trousers. Like it's really that simple. I'm sure you could work with jeans. Jeans are not like my favorite vibe. I'm more into my leggings. And honestly, like I've been going to see my friends for brunch and I want to be super comfortable. So I just pop this with some black leggings and my Vasia trainers. And I feel like it just gives a really nice elevated look. It's so much more than just wearing gym kit. It really is that kind of like yummy mommy, Lululemon style. Guys, comment below and let me know how you feel about this brand. But I, it gives me like yummy mommy vibes. And by the way, this is not a pregnancy announcement. I am not pregnant, <laughs> but that's the vibe that this brand gives me. Like you just throw it over your kind of nice pants and you go out somewhere and you drink a bit of champagne in the afternoon with your friends. It just makes you feel super comfortable, but on trend. Okay, so this bought one, and then I'll talk to you about sizing. Love, love, love. She's so obsessed, so she went and bought two, but this is a bit different. So this is the exact same size. I got a medium in this one, and this is also a medium, but this one is much, much, much bigger. This looks so cool with leggings, and the great thing about it is because it's oversized, you can tuck it into your leggings, or you can have it over your leggings. Guys, I literally just saw a cat run out my window. We're having like real lighting issues today. And I just saw a cat in the shadow and I wish I can record that. Okay, so this one is super oversized, but it's a great multitasker because you can literally tuck it into your leggings, tuck it into your skirt, or just have it open. I would say this is more of like a jumper dress. And this one obviously is different because it's got the kind of fuzzy wuzzy, comfortable, almost boucle. If you guys follow me on at Michelle Home, you know I'm boucle obsessed, whereas this one is stitched. So just to quickly run through the sizing, medium in both. This is super oversized and you will see on my body how it fits. I'm a UK six to eight, depending on brand size, etc. This one's a medium, but this is actually quite tight. Now I tried on an XS in the store as well. And holy moly, it was so tight on me. Like if you want these to be comfortable, and I think they are designed to be comfortable, I would size up definitely. I mean, I sized up twice in these, um, but it depends which one you get. So I will link it below with the exact sizing that I got in each one so you can see, but essentially 
this one was a lot tighter than the sport. The sport is just, sport is just a lot looser. My boyfriend was like, oh no, get the XS, it looks really nice and fitted. So it just depends what kind of vibe you are going for. But there we go, guys. That was a whistle stop tour of these sweaters. I'm sure this is not going to be the end of my Anamina Bing collection. I also took a while to actually learn the correct pronunciation, but I do believe it is Anina Bing. Anina Bing. And I'm super, super excited to have two pieces in my collection. Really want to get the sport detail bag next, which I will also link below. And thank you so much for watching this video. Come say hi on Instagram at nshellx. And as I said, items are linked below. See you next time, guys.